Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it's match day. It's the big game. I've n I haven't been so simultaneously nervous and excited for a game in such a long time. You know, the last few years I've been obviously excited and nervous for the derby, but not anywhere near this extent. It doesn't feel. I mean, I think it's because all the apath apathy of the previous regime has gone from particularly last season where it was just apathy. Yeah, in terms of the team, I think uh, I think he could go for a back three, actually. Um, obviously, we played against Bournemouth. It'd be interesting to see if he goes with that. Kalasanac, not great at left-back, shown by the Wolves game. Maybe put a left wing-back where he's much more comfortable. Uh, Bellerin on the right-hand side. Maybe Socrates holding Mustafi if it is that midfield three. Hopefully, Lacazette will be fit enough to start, but I'm not sure he will be. So, maybe it will be an Ozil in behind Aubameyang. Or we'll go back to the back four, which we're... More accustomed to, but it doesn't really accommodate for Kalasanac's defensive liability -ness. It's not a word. But come on, Arsenal. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back us. I'm gonna say two on Arsenal. Um, this is gonna be really embarrassing if it doesn't go turn out that way. But I don't want to not back us in a North London derby. So, come on, Arsenal. I right, guys, on my way to the game. It's a good lineup. It's back three. Uh, Socrates holding uh, Mustafi. And, yeah, it's basically the same I Oh, yeah, Ozil's not in, and Lacazette, so it's a bit of a disappointment, but come on.
half time at the Emirates uh, 2 1. Son appears to have dived for a penalty. It's a bit contentious, a bit unfair, but yeah, we're losing. Don't really deserve to be. I thought we were the better team for most of the half. Just fell away a bit at the end of the half, but yeah. Um, yeah, come on. Yeah! Yes! Come on!
Hi guys, it is the day after the game. What a result, what a game, what an atmosphere. I'm still buzzing after that game. Um, just just beating them after what happened in the first half. You know, the likes of Dyer, Ali being a bit, you know, just they're just pricks. That's it, the whole team is pricks. They lost their heads. They had a lot of bookings. They had obviously Vertonghen sent off. And they deserved it, really. I think we were the much the better team. We controlled the game from pretty much the majority of the game, maybe the end of the first half and the start of the second half. They sort of maybe the first 10 minutes of the second half, the last 10 minutes of the first half. They sort of got a bit more momentum, sort of came back into it, obviously got their two goals. But other than that, I thought we were the better team. I thought we dominated the game. We played with such great intensity. There were some superb performances in there. Lucas Torreira, how many times have I said it this season? He was superb again. Um, who else uh, was very good? Uh, Aubameyang obviously scoring two goals. He's a pure goal scorer. Ra Ramsey made a massive difference when he came on in the second half. Lacazette um, was excellent um, off the bench as well. Holding, I thought, played very well again. Socrates as well. Mustafi, even, you got to give credit to him. Basically, the whole team played well. Shaka, I thought, did pretty well in there. Leno should have really saved Dyer's goal, but he made up for it in the second half. Um, yeah, I was very annoyed at half-time, particularly about Son hearing from even Tottenham fans that it was a definite dive. But yeah, we've beaten the scum, and we move on to Manchester United on Wednesday. Uh might have a review out for that, so if you, yeah, just subscribe to the channel. If you did like this video, I have maybe, I probably have more vlogs like this. I'm not sure it'll get as good as this, to be honest, the atmosphere of the Emirates, but yeah. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.